Hello, my very most beautiful Cancers. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your January weekly reading. And this reading is going to go from the 17th through the 23rd. Now, it is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, I do have personals open. And everything that you guys will need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is going to be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my most beautiful Cancers, please, may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Cancers Energy, a very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my lovelies, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. All right. So, we've got two fours here. Got the four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, got the strength card, got the wheel of fortune. All right, it does kind of look like to me that they're, yeah, it kind of looks like to me that um, you could either want to move back towards somebody or somebody could be wanting to move back towards you. I do feel like there's somebody here that you guys have been holding on to, okay? Um, is kind of what this is feeling like to me, Cancers. Um, and, you know, that's not easy to do. It's taken a lot. You know, letting go is hard, but holding on is hard on us too. You know, it's it's not easy either way. But the, we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Cups in the reverse. So something's becoming very clear to you. What you need to do moving forward, what option you need to take, um, that's what's becoming very clear to you. you got the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, um, which can be a card of coming out of the cold, as well as the Wheel of Fortune. So something is becoming clear here. We're going to take a look and see what's going on. Um, you got the Page of Wands at the for your head space, the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Then we have the Eight of Wands. We have the Four of Swords in the reverse. There's some communication. I feel like some of you guys could be choosing to reach out to somebody here. Um, maybe you guys were holding on. Maybe you guys were waiting for somebody else to reach out first or something like that here. Um, but it kind of feels like to me that some of you guys are choosing to break the silence. We have the four swords in the reverse for your action. So that is kind of, um, if you guys were on a break, it could be ready to come out of that. Okay. Um, you know, eight of wands, communication. The seven of pentacles in the reverse for the heart space. You know, you didn't want to waste your time. Feeling like you didn't waste your time. Feeling like asking yourself, is this worth it? Um, you know, do I want to continue to hold on or should I just reach out? Should I just say something? You know, sometimes knowing... Um, especially if you've been holding on, not really knowing, not really, you know, wondering, is this going to happen? Are they going to come back? You know, sometimes that can be more difficult on this than just finding out the truth, even if it is a harsh truth. You know, it kind of feels like this is the energy that you're stepping into. You just want to know. Okay. So we have the page of wands here. So that is taking a step. It is taking, you know, it is, it is forward movement. You're still, this is still what you want. Okay. Seven of pentacles in the reverse. You know, I feel like you're just choosing just to go for it with that energy, no longer waiting. You know, that can be, seven of pentacles can be a card of waiting. Okay. And overanalyzing. I feel like you're done with that. You're choosing to just go for it. Okay. Got the eight of wands for your true intention. So you want things to move forward. You want to tell this person that. And the four of swords in the reverse kind of feels to me that you're coming out of it. Like you're breaking the silence here. We're going to grab another deck here Let me get these ones out of the way and we're going to take a look at what your person's energy is towards you so show me the person let's see what flew out ten of wands so they're really weighed down by whatever has happened between the two of you as well the death card they're really weighed down by this ending they're really weighed down by this ending too they haven't moved on from this yet either let's see yeah the two of pentacles they could be going back and forth deciding whether they want to reach out too so both people want to talk, but I feel like you're finally doing it. You're like, I'm just doing it. I'm just going for it. All right, let's see. Show me this person's energy. How did I get all turned around? Show me this person's energy towards cancer, please. What is this person's energy towards cancer? What is their energy towards cancer, please? My goodness. What is their energy towards cancer? Just when I think I got them all. What is their energy towards cancer, please? Can't make this stuff up. Uh, you have the page of wands. They have the page of wands. So they're thinking about taking action, too. They're thinking about what steps to take. They are worried about... They're kind of, So we're going to get to that. Let me get the rest of their cards out. 
All right, so I like this, I do. Okay, you know what? They still have hope for this. They still think that you guys can do this. The, they have, they're not quite ready to give up yet. They have still, um, you know, the Knight of Cups can be, one, it is emotion, but it's also a dream. He's a dreamer, a visionary. I still feel like they, they do have a dream and vision, um, and it still does include you. And the Page of Wands, you know, ready to take a step, you know, thinking about it, thinking about what move to make here. The Lovers in the Reverse, they definitely know that there's been a disconnect between the two of you, but the Lovers doesn't just represent the Lovers. It doesn't just represent the connection, although I do think it is coming up because you guys do have a deep connection, and they do recognize that you guys aren't in the best place. They do recognize that there's been some kind of disconnect between the two of you, um, but they still feel the connection. It kind of feels to me that um, the Lovers also can talk about a turning point or decision. I feel like they haven't, with it showing up in the Reverse, they haven't fully made the decision yet um, on what move to make here um, but they do want some kind of turning point here within this connection their true intention the five of swords so to me this is especially with it here they could be looking back at the past they could be thinking about whether okay if you did something to wrong with them they're thinking about that if they did something that wronged you they're thinking about that okay and they're thinking about this how it's caused this disconnect thinking about you know is this something that we can overcome is this something we can get through um but the action is the two of cups okay so this is really nice this is also very nice for communication um especially in mercury retrograde because mercury retrograde does tend to bring up things that we haven't dealt with so that we can but it also can play a little bit of a havoc on our on our communication. And the Two of Cups has a staff of Hermes in it, which is the god of communication. So the Two of Cups can actually talk about having really good communication between one another. So I really like to see that. I definitely feel like there's going to be communication. I definitely feel like there's going to be a major conversation coming up. Um, I feel like you're going to be the one to break the silence. Now, guys, if that isn't your energy, maybe you resonate more with the person on this side than this side, then just flip the rules around, okay? The rules, it can come up vice versa. So just take it how it resonates for you. But it looks like to me that somebody here is breaking the silence. And there's going to be a really Good conversation um it looks to me like this is going to be a really it's a really very positive conversation they still really feel this okay so that is what i have for you guys if this resonates let me know in the comments down below and if it doesn't check out your other sign placements sometimes your moon rising and venus can resonate more than your sun sign does if you like the way that i read please like share and subscribe and most importantly, my loves, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.